Well, that wasn't a very good stream. How are we doing? Hopefully we get this back. Goodness gracious, Buffy St. Marie. Hopefully we are back. Says I'm streaming live. Well, we're off like a herd of thunder and turtles right now. I guess we'll try to clean this up to get this up on YouTube. Anyway, before we left, how we doing? Big Dave, don't know if Big Dave came back or not. Oh, maybe he did. Anyway, so when we left you, before my internet decided to crap out, right when I was streaming, ugh. Uh, the Expos left him loaded in the first. Nationals could not score. So Chris Spire, the batter, is with one out here in the second. Spire from 1980. 246, four homers, and 29 RBI. So one out, second inning, no score. You haven't missed anything. Ah, the joys of trying to stream. You'd think today would be a light day. Spire strikes out. So Scherzer got him with an 0-2 fastball. Two out for Rodney Scott. There was a position the Expos were kind of weak in. It was there from 1980. Scott, 232 homers and 44 RBI. Hopefully your turkey day will go smoother than this stream. My goodness. Pitch to Scott with two out. Ground ball to Murph. Dale, uh, Dave throws to first. Or Daniel throws to first. Zimmerman's there and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the second. No score. So 82 Rogers on the mound. Anthony Rendon about to step in. Anthony from 2019, the World Series year. Now with the Angels. Hitting 314, 44 doubles, 29 homers, and drove in 109. So before everything kind of went kaplooey, Bernie, Tribe Fan, and Big Dave were here. Hopefully they come back. Rogers starts the second. Ground ball to Spire. He throws to first for the out. Spire, by the way, got the first three outs on four pitches. Scherzer has thrown 33. Juan Soto from 20, the World Series year. Digs in 287, 28 homers, 90 RBI, and enjoying life now in San Diego. Rogers winds and deals, and there's a ground ball to Cromartie, Warren to the bag himself, and there's two out. For Jason Worth, Captain Caveman, he was really the first big player to make the move to Washington. This is from 2016. 238, 16 homers, and 49 RBI, and he is the DH. Rogers' is pitch. Worth hits this one up the middle for a base hit. Dawson is there to pick it up, and that's the first hit. And as FP would say, there goes the no-hitter. Here's Victor Robles. Victor, also from the World Series season. 257, 10 homers, and 38 RBI. So Worth on first. Robles lines this one in the left center. And that's going to drop. Dawson will pick it up. And Worth is going to run on Dawson. He's going to try for third. 
Robles will hold at second to throw the wall. It gets away from Tim, and everybody's going to move up. It got away from Wallach, and Worth scores. So Dawson with a throwing error, and the Nationals go up one nothing. Robles ends up taking third on the two-base error, and now they'll bring up Ryan Zimmerman. Zim from 2017. Again, the year I covered them. 265, 26 homers, and 77 RBI. And man, that year when Zimmerman got hot, he became white hot. Absolutely white hot. Rogers is pitch. Zimmerman strikes out. Rogers got him to swing and miss on one, and that will retire the side. But the Nats score on the air by Andre Dawson after two, one nothing Nationals. So opening nine are done for Montreal. Tim Raines singled and stole a base. Scherzer, 33 pitches over two innings for his opening nine, two hits, and a strikeout. Reigns drops one down and Timmy is going to have himself a bunt single. So nobody out for Oliver who's 0 for 1. I seem to be doing just fine connecting to the internet. Scherzer looks at first, throws to Oliver, ground ball right side, base hit, Harper will pick it up. And so first and second, nobody out. For Andre Dawson, who's singled, is one for one. I'll say again what I said in the open, because this will get dropped into chunks, that their school of thought is kind of like the opposite of a Reese peanut butter cup the Nats and the Expos. Montreal fans don't want to acknowledge that the franchise continued after they left Major League Baseball moved them out of Montreal. And Nats fans, twice burned themselves by the Senators, don't really want to acknowledge that history began for the club before 2005. I have a different take on that. As someone who grew up in New England, the Expos were a part of my childhood. They were really good when I was 9, 10, 11 years old. And I, of course, covered the Nationals between late 2016 and early 2018 before I started Retro Sports Network, as a matter of fact. And so I have a very soft spot for both the Expos and the Nationals. And I think it's time to come together. Dawson, with runners on first and second, is singled his first time up. Scherzer got him. An 0-2 fastball swung on and missed. So one out for Gary Carter. Gary was hit by a pitch his first time up. Scherzer has struck out two. Max delivers. And Carter sends this one into left field. Soto will make the catch. Reigns. Has good speed, and Soto throws it to third, and Reigns will hold. Brings up Cromartie, who's 0 for 1. So hopefully, if you're not traveling tomorrow, you're home safe, and if you are, be safe. Pitch to Cromartie. Warren pops it up. Ramos. Doffs the mask, makes the catch in foul territory, and again, Scherzer has stranded five runners. No runs, two hits, no errors. After two and a half, one nothing Washington. So the bolt ended up with the Tigers. My first night, and this is obviously 2016, Wilson Ramos, or my first week covering the team, Wilson Ramos got hurt and would be out the rest of the way. I started covering the Nationals in September of 16 and 
Steven Strasburg got hurt as well. I believe that was my first night or second night or whatever. And, yeah. They were a snake-bitten bunch at times. 269, 19 homers, 74 RBI. An all-star in 16 with the Nats. Rogers starts the inning, a high fly ball to left. Reigns makes the catch. One out. Apparently the computer, the internet hiccup is done and the computer is going a lot faster now. So opening nine for Rogers, two and a third, 29 pitches, two hits, and a strikeout. Say hi if you're still watching. Oh, the terrible start to the stream. Rogers' pitch. Turner strikes out. So he swung on and missed the one two curve and two out for Daniel Murphy. See? Daniel Murphy did not want you to know that he pulled a muscle in his butt. After I started talking about that, the stream slowed right down. But it's true. Okay, Bernie's still with us. Rogers delivers. There's a ground ball to Rodney Scott by the bag at second. Over to Cromartie, and Murphy hustles down the line, but he is out. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the fourth here in D.C., one nothing Nats. So a case of either still here. How you doing, Sonny? First time Sonny's been in the chat. Don't be a stranger. Unless you're a bot, then be a stranger. But if you're a real human being, I want to hear from you. Here's Alice Valentine. He's 0 for 1. Scherzer starts the fourth of pop-up, third base side. Rendon will make the catch. The Expos for years, and the Nationals after, had a farm club here in Burlington. They were the Lake Monsters. And so players like Anthony Rendon played here. Zimmerman didn't. Zimmerman made the straight shot up to, to D.C. as fast as possible. And none of these Expos were, but a hotbed of minor league activity for a long time. No, I know you're not a bot, Sonny. I know you're not a bot. Wallach is 0 for 1. Scherzer's pitch. Got him. A 2-2 two -two fastball on the inside corner, and here's two out. Here's Spire. He's 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. Struck him out. Scherzer got him. Tipped in the glove of Ramos, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. Bottom of the fourth here in Washington. one nothing Nationals. So Harper, Rendon, and Soto to face Rogers here in the fourth. Bryce is 0 for 1. And he draws the walk. Harper's always had a good eye. And because of his power, you never really throw to him anyway. Here's Rendon. Tony Two Bags is 0 for 1. And if you ask me who my favorite national was when I covered the team, it would be him because there wasn't anything he couldn't do. There was the game against the Mets in, in 17 after a slow start where he drove in 11. That was so much fun to cover, driving in 11 runs in a game. Throw to first, Harper back. We're not stealing Bryce. Pitch to Rendon. Anthony hits a liner in the left center. Reigns will pick it up. So first and second now. Nobody out for Juan Soto. Soto was 0 for 1. Rogers delivers. And Soto chops this one. Might be 2. Scott the Spire for 1. Chris Pivots won't throw to first. Or he will, but it's late. And so it's 4 6 on the fielder's choice. Harper on third, Soto on first, one out for Jason Worth. That is probably the cleanest hirsute picture I've seen of Jason Worth. The hair would grow from there. And so when I started covering the Nats 
in 16, and certainly in 17, which was worth last year, I believe. I gave him the nickname Captain Caveman. You remember the cartoon Captain Caveman? Pitched a worth. There's a fly ball right center field. Valentine moving over. Ellis will make the catch. Harper will tag and will score. And it's 2 nothing Washington. Anyway, Worth reminded me of Captain Caveman. Just kind of goofy and hairy and, and all that. So here's Robles. Robles singled and drove home a run. 2 nothing Nationals. Two out. Bottom of the fourth. Got him. So Rogers struck him out, a swing and a miss, and we played four. One run, one hit, no errors. After four, two nothing Nats. So Scott, Reigns, and Oliver to face Scherzer here in the fifth. Rodney is 0 for 1. Got him. That's three straight for Max. A fastball swung on and missed. One out for Reigns, who has singled twice, a regular hit, a bunt hit, and a stolen base. So Scherzer, his opening 18, 74 pitches, four in the third innings, four hits, and five strikeouts. Reigns draws the walk. And does someone say something? Ramos, on the full count, pitch didn't like the call and was told to shut up. So here's Oliver, one for two. Immaculate is what I would call Max. One of the biggest bulldogs I have ever seen. You know why he has two colored eyes? I'll let you see if you got, let you guys see if you can answer that. Pitch to Oliver. There's a high fly ball, right field, but Harper will track it down for the out, and Reigns goes back. Here's Dawson, Andre one for two. He is singled and struck out. Scherzer trying to get out of this. High fly ball, left field. Soto will make the catch, and that will retire the side. Halfway home on this day before Thanksgiving. No runs, no hits, no errors. It's the Nationals 2, the Expos nothing. So if you joined us late, we had a whole massive internet trouble. But we got through it. I think we lost our original viewers, except for Bernie. But anyway, if you joined us late, here's how we got here. Victor Robles with a single to score. Jason Worth to make it 1-0 in the second. Then Worth with a sack fly in the fourth to make it 2-0. Steve Rogers, a three-hitter through four. Max Scherzer, a four-hitter through five. Both very dominant pitchers in their own eras for a franchise that should be quite proud. Here is the original Washington National, Ryan Zimmerman. Struck out his first time up. Zim was the first ever draft pick after the team moved to D.C. And he was up by September of 05. Rogers starts the fifth. Ground ball over the mound. Spire has a long throw, but there's an out. So, Max Scherzer, to finish that point, Ramos is 0 for 1, has two eyes of different colors. Like David Bowie, I think, is probably the other, probably the most famous person. And so, I forget which one is Scherzer's natural color. But as boys do, as kids, they play and play hard. And Scherzer got bonked in the eye. 
and when he did, he was young enough that it changed color. And that's why Max Scherzer has two different color eyes. Pitch to Ramos. There's a fly ball left field. Reigns in the corner. And Timmy will make the catch. Two out for Turner. So Rogers opening 18, 62 pitches, four and two thirds, three hits, two runs that are earned, a walk, and three strikeouts. Got him. So Turner swung on and missed, and that'll do it for Rogers. Or that'll do it for the Nats in the fifth. No runs, no hits, no errors. Scherzer giving me the fatigue warning. He'll start the sixth with a 2 nothing lead. So Carter, Cromartie, and Valentine. And again, I don't want to hear it in the YouTube comments about using a DH. This game would never have happened anyway, okay? Carter is 0 for 1. Pitch from Scherzer. Gary sends this one into right center. Robles going way back. Will make the catch. One out. I always have liked this stadium, by the way. I have nothing against the retro new stadiums. I think Oriole Park at Camden Yards really was a game changer, and it was a heck of a lot better than Sky Dome when it first came out. And I think the worst of that era of construction was Comiskey. Someone had a major Yankee Stadium finish. Here's Cromarty. He is 0 for 2. But this park doesn't try to be retro. And I think it works. Scherzer deals. And Cromartie goes to first. Did that, got, that got away from Ramos. Cromartie swung on and missed. And Ramos couldn't find it. And Warren is going to steal first base. Technically, it's a wild pitch. So one on, one out for Ellis Valentine, who is 0 for 2. There's a liner to right. Harper will make the catch. Cromarty, did they get him leaning? No, they did not. Cromarty went right back. That was a BB right to Harper. And Cromarty saw it and ran back to first. Here's Wallach. Tim is 0 for 2. Two out here in the sixth. Scherzer's pitch. Struck him out. He got Wallach for number seven. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the sixth here in Washington on a warm day. It's almost free ice cream day. 88 degrees. Five and a half down, two nothing nets. So it'll be Murphy. And I'll stop talking about his butt now. Harper and Rendon to face Rogers. Walked him. So on this night before, or day before Thanksgiving, Harper, by the way, a walk and a run scored. What are you most thankful for in the chat? Walked him. So Rogers has walked too. Again, these Nationals always had a good batting eye, and that'll set up Rendon, who's one for two. Anthony has singled. So Murph on second, Harper on first. Two nothing Nationals over Montreal here in the bottom of the sixth. And Carter has a word for Rogers, and it's Poutine. Rogers. Here's that. Fly ball left field. Reigns will track it down and makes the catch. So Murph tags and will hold it second. One out for Soto, who is 0 for 2. Fly ball, right field. Back goes Valentine, and Ellis will make the catch. Murph, will he tag? He will. So runners on the corners for Jason Worth. Jason has scored, driven in a run, and single. Bernie's thankful for family, friends, and health. 
And that's really all you can ask for. This Thanksgiving, spare a thought for Big Polly. Big Polly has not only battled some health issues, but is going through some personal financial things too. And so, although he is warm and safe, he and his pet, it has not been a good year for him. And so, if you are the praying kind, you know, give him a whole bunch of warm and fuzzy thoughts. Pitch to Worth. Jason hits a line drive foul third base side, and somebody from Charlottesville, Virginia made the catch. So two and two the count. Uh, Sonny asks, I really like my play-by-play. -play. Any favorite baseball announcers? Well, I grew up with Scully. Worth has a 2-2 count to him. In New England, of course, Ken Coleman. Always was a huge fan of Bob Murphy. Pitch to Worth. Popped up. Carter. That should get the Expos out of the inning. And that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. Scherzer comes out to pitch the seventh. Nationals lead 2 nothing. I, I would say Scully. Um... I was always a fan of Keith Jackson's work, too. Keith wasn't, but, but I was a fan of that. And Joe Garagiola. So if, if there is a style that I kind of use, it's kind of a combination of Scully and, and, and Garagiola. You know, it's it's a fake game. you you got to have fun with it. Here's Spire. He has struck out twice. Grounds one to Turner. A hot shot over to first. One out. Rodney Scott is 0 for 2. He has struck out. I am thankful for all of you, of course. And I'll echo Bernie. You know, thankful for my family. My mom's coming to town tomorrow. And the three of us are going to have some chicken. Friends, you know, my buddy Dave Gardner and I, as we are in the middle of year four of the podcast, and help for a diabetic in a wheelchair that's about to turn 51. I think all things considered, I'm doing pretty damn well. Pitch to Scott, who is 0 for 2. A little drop bunt. Scherzer picks it up. Murph covers it first, and that will re be the second out. Yep. You know, here's a funny thing about Vinny. When he was at CBS and did the NFL, I was a little kid. Timmy Raines, by the way, two for two. He is single twice, stolen a base. Scherzer going to get through seven unless something happens here. Six and two-thirds, 106 pitches. Four hits, a walk, and seven strikeouts. I don't try to copy Scully. But if you're going to emulate someone as a broadcaster that, you know, you just go for the very best. So and and Vinny, Vinny just you know had a conversation with you, and let me tell you, just talking by yourself for an hour, hour and a half, with just you know interacting with the chat, it's not easy to easy to do. Bernie was a big fan of Kurt Gowdy and Ned Martin. Remy were the were yeah Orsillo and Remy. I'm still mad at the Red Sox for firing Don Orsillo. Pitch to Reigns. There's a fly ball left center field. That's going to drop in for a hit. So Oliver one for three. Scherzer still has a little bit of rope. I hate to see what's in this Nationals bullpen. From covering this team for a year and change, this bullpen is kind of like opening Pandora's box. Pitch to Oliver. Al sends this one into shallow right center. Robles rides the Schwinn, makes the catch, and it's stretch time to nothing nets.
Thank you, Bernie. So Scully called football. And in fact, he called <clears throat> maybe the second best game I ever saw. The catch. And not a bad way to go out as a football announcer. Montana to Clark. <clears throat> wow. Me, 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 me. But I didn't really like him as a football announcer. And then he started calling baseball on NBC and oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that, that, you know, right age, right time. Robles is one for two. He has singled, struck out, and driven in a run. And he gets hit. That's not what you want. So here's Zim. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout. But the basics for Scully isn't just the voice. You know, you can do the Scully impression and get your Dodger dogs at gate 6, all provided, of course, by Farmer John. And the thing, the thing with Scully was that although his play-by-play -play was poetry, go back and read the transcription of the ninth inning of, of Koufax's perfect game in 65. I mean, that that is an absolute work of art. But the fact that, you know, what you should take out of Scully is that he weaved everything together. The stats, the stories, because not everyone who would listen to a game, pitched to, I'll throw to first, Robles is back, was interested in the ball game. You get in a car with someone, and this was before Walkman and all that, and so you might have Dad listening to the game and Mom listening to the game, but, you know, Judy Jetson in the back seat really wants you to listen to the rock station and certainly not an old man talking about the Dodgers. But I don't really have a Steve Rogers story to tell, but that's where it would be weaved in. Rogers wore the number 45. You know who else wore the number 45 for the Expos? Pedro Martinez. And so you're trying to give some sort of anecdote that hooks everybody in. And Vinny, lurking, oh, Thanksgiving, be careful, we need you here after Thanksgiving. And I think the magic of Vinny was he could turn someone who wasn't a fan into a fan. And he could turn a casual fan into someone you want to hear nightly. Pitch to Zim. Ryan hits a fly ball right field. Valentine isn't even really going to have to move. He'll make the catch. And Robles goes back to first. Yep, Bernie Scully stories made the game. His descriptions were better than watching the game on TV. Here's Ramos. He's 0 for 2. I like today... Cruck and Kite for San Francisco, just because they have a lot of fun. But as far as the best trio on television, it's got to be Gary Cohen, Ron Darling, and Keith Hernandez. Because they are Mets fans, and they know what that, that's a different, whole different audience than a Yankee fan. Not that the Mets have been a long-suffering team by a long shot, but it's just the right amount of history and the right amount of an analysis, and the right amount of rooting. Pitch to Ramos. Wilson lines this one to left. Reigns is there, makes the catch. And did they get Robles napping? No. But Reigns thought he had a chance, two out. By the way, bottom of the seventh, two nothing, Washington. Trey Turner is 0 for 3 with two strikeouts, 92 pitches, 6 and 2 thirds, 27 batters, 3 hits, 3 walks, both the runs are earned, and 4 strikeouts. John Miller, of course, is very good with the Giants, and John can do a very good Vince Scully. And one of the things that I've learned from John, pitch to Turner, is a line drive left field, base hit, Reigns will pick it up, Robles, what's he going to do? He's going to go for third. Reigns throws to Wallach and Robles is in there. So Turner moves to second. So second and third for Murph, who is 0 for 2 with a walk. Was I was watching an interview with, with 
Miller at some point. I think he was still with the Orioles. And to learn the habit of telling you the score in the inning, which some very good announcers don't do enough of, he would use an egg timer. And so when the egg timer ran out, you know, he would call whatever was going on and say, it's the Nationals 2, the Expo 0. Pitch to Murph, and they're going to walk him. Not a surprise there. They're, oh wait, they're going to walk Murph to face Bryce Harper. And that's why the AI doesn't know much. So Harper has walked twice. He has scored once and is 0 for 1. Harper hits a ground ball to first. Fair ball. No, it's foul. Cromarty picks it up and it's 2-2. Two and two. Yep. John, you know, hey, as a mid-80s Red Sox fan, I have no love for the New York Mets, at least of that era. But Darling, Hernandez, and Cohen are a treat, an absolute treat. And remember, baseball is a marathon, and it's not a good television sport. But if you're going to spend three hours or three and a half hours a night with somebody, there are good ones to do that with. You know who else was a good trio or duo like that? Skip Carey and Pete Van Weeren. And Ernie Johnson Sr. when he wasn't so old and crotchety. Understood that the Braves were not a good team. They had good talent, and they put it together a couple times. But they had to sell the Braves to the nation, and that's how they did it. And, of course, the fourth announcer during those years was John Sterling. Pitched to Harper. Walked him, and a run will score. And that'll bring home Robles. That's the fifth walk, and it's 3 nothing. That's two out here in the seventh. So here's Rendon. He's one for three with a single. Got him, and that will retire the side. One run, one hit, no errors. We're going to go to the pan. That's going to be it for Scherzer. He went seven strong, five hits, 111 pitches, a walk in seven strikeouts. We go to the A, three nothing Nats. So Blake Trinan. Oh, John found a podcast by Ron Darling and Jimmy Rollins. So what do they talk about? Apparently my wife is related to Ron Darling. Blake Trinan, we get the 2015 version. 27 years old, a fastball pitcher at 97. And a fly ball pitcher, 3-3 three and three and 15 with a save. And an earned run average of 307. 67 in the third innings, 56 hits, four homers allowed, 32 walks, and 64 strikeouts. Dawson is one for three. He has singled and struck out. And now Scherzer will watch as his bullpen goes to work to get the last six outs. Dawson into right field, Harper in the corner, and Bryce, Bryce, baby, makes the catch one out. Here's Carter. Gary is 0 for 2. He's been hit by a pitch. There's a liner up the middle for a base hit. So Carter reaches on a single. One out for Cromarty, who is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Up the middle, Turner. Murph for one. Daniel throws to first. Six, four, three. So Trinan does the job. We go to the bottom of the eighth. No runs, a hit, no errors. It's the Nationals. Three, the Expos, nothing. Unwritten rules in baseball. Interesting. Okay. So Soto, Worth, and Robles. We'll see if Rogers goes the distance here. The Expos in the ninth. Valentine, Wallach, and Spire. Rogers winds and deals, and Soto strikes out a curveball on a full count. 
Then there is one out for Jason Worth. One for two. He has singled, scored, and driven in a run. There's a line drive left field. That's going to drop for a single. Dawson picks it up. And is Worth going for two? I think he's not. Don't be dumb. So he's Robles. One for two. He has singled, struck out, scored, and driven in a run. Stephen Tate, by the way, is the one that did all these teams. And there are so many teams in each league that the game itself really doesn't like trying to load it. But it did. It, it did. So give it a look. Well, thanks, John. I appreciate that. Dave and I do our best. Pitch to Robles. And there's a long drive left field. Kaboom! Victor Robles delivers a kaboom. And somewhere in Staten Island, somebody's ears are burning with that. I'll tell you why in a moment. Robles right down the line and left, and it's 5 nothing Washington. Rodgers just left that one right over the plate. And Reigns just turned and watched it go. Now, when I covered the Nats, we live-tweeted the games. Because not everyone had cable, and not everyone wanted to listen to Bob Carpenter and F.P. Santangelo. And, and all that. And so every time we got it, because every time we had a home run... We labeled it a kaboom and gave the score. So I was waiting to see if someone would hit a home run, and it's Victor Robles. So we don't do it here for the games. But, yep, on Twitter, that would have been a kaboom for Robles. And the person in Staten Island whose ears are burning is Ricky Keeler, my partner in crime, covering the Nationals. I think even he used it when he was live tweeting. Zim is 0 for 3 with the strikeout, by the way. Rogers deals, and Zimmerman strikes out. A 1 2 fastball on the inside corner. Got him looking. That's 7 for Steve. Here's Ramos, who is 0 for 3. No run, 6 hits, an error for Montreal. They've left on 8. 5 runs, 6 hits, no errors, and the Nationals have left on 7. In the left center, Dawson makes a catch in that will retire the side. So that'll be it for Trinan. But the Nationals get some insurance runs. Victor Robles looking to beat our digital advice player of the game. Two for three with a big home run. Two runs, two hits, no errors. Go to the nine. Five, nothing Nets. And so Sean Doolittle, who came over near the deadline in 17 and was a massive shot. Now, I imagine this is it's the 18 version of Doolittle. 191 ERA, 2 and 1, 23 saves. 37 and two-thirds innings, 22 hits, two homers, seven walks, and 45 strikeouts. Him and his wife immediately adopted Washington, D.C. And Doolittle here is 32, fastball pitcher, 89, a ground ball pitcher. I'm telling you, it was such a fun team to cover. But it really didn't have much of a fan base. I think that changed after the World Series. Valentine, Wallach, and Spire, by the way. And Ellis is 0 for 3. Doolittle, fly ball right field. Harper going back into the corner. And Bryce will make the catch one out. So here's Wallach, 0 for two, 3 with two strikeouts. Got him. 
So a one-two fastball, and the Expos are down to their last chance saloon. I thought this would be a closer game. Here's Spire. He is 0 for 3, struck out twice. Hopefully you will all have a safe holiday, and when we get together on Friday to pay tribute to my dad for some football. Hopefully that won't crash. Pinch. Uh, Tony Bernazard is going to pinch hit. And if you knew that Tony Bernazard played for the Expos, you are a dedicated fan because I didn't even know that he played for the Expos. Tony, what year? 1980. 232, three homers and 13 RBI in part-time work. Two out, nobody on. And there's a ground ball to Zim, and the Nationals are going to win. So Scherzer, trying to do a little, combined on the shutout, a six-hitter. No run, six hits, an error for the Expos. They leave on eight. Five runs, six hits, no errors, and the Nationals lead off, leave on seven. Robles or Digital at Ice MVP, two for three. With a homer and three RBI, Rogers goes the route. Eight innings, six hits, five runs all earned. The homer to Victor. He walked five and struck out seven. Shizzer had minus stuff. and this, Sure he did. He was so much fun to cover. Seven innings, five hits, a walk and seven strikeouts. Trining gets the hole, a clean inning in the eighth. And Doolittle got a strikeout. It's not a clean inning for Blake. He got a lot of hit run. And Doolittle a clean ninth, he struck out a batter. And so, on this button. So thank you so much for watching. So that's our baseball for the week. Football for you Friday afternoon, noon time. We'll have some sort of Buffalo Bills thing because that's what Dad would have wanted. And so, again, thankful for all of you and all the good times that we have together at lunch and on the show and back and forth, wherever it is that you and I know each other. Have a happy and healthy and safe holiday, and we'll talk to you soon. Good luck. Have a fun one tomorrow, everybody. Good night.